Hey, in this video, I'll be checking out the Joule electric kettle. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Robert with Sherburn Outdoors. Today we're checking out the electric kettle by Stoke Voltaics. They call it the Joule. Full disclosure, they did send this to me. And if you notice, it might look familiar. This looks very much like a jet boil. I was very excited when they, they sent this because there was some, I would say there was a gap in what I was looking at doing. I, I've been using a jet boil system for years. Love it, do not see that going away. I see this as being a companion product and, and kind of let me tell you the use case that I'm looking at. So as you watch the channel, I do a ton of overland in. We're on long day trips. And I, I don't always want something cold for lunch or a sandwich. Sometimes I want something hot but I don't want to pull out the entire jet boil system, set it all up, get all the propane. I would just take, take something simple like this, plug it in, and it, it is electric, by the way. When I first saw it, I thought it was a battery, and we'll get into all that stuff in a second. But I would just like to plug it in, make some soup. Uh, you know, I got some here, make some ramen noodles, put a soup can in there. Uh, you can make coffee with these, tea. You can even make popcorn with these. But I wanted something simple that I could just plug in, put some water in, and go. I did that with a, a K-cup a while ago because I like to have coffee during the day and I just didn't want to keep dragging that stuff out, so I did buy a coffee cup. That is actually also why we bought the big Blue Eddy so that we could drive big devices. So let's talk about this thing because it is cute. And if we look around, it's got a top. We'll look at what's inside it in a minute. It's got a nice neoprene sleeve, got a feet on the bottom, so it's, it's non-slip. And then it does have all the electronics in the bottom here. And then here is where the plug goes, which is right here, kind of like a computer cable. It's pretty, it's pretty healthy. It does come with a user manual, and everyone knows I love stickers. So, all right, what else comes in here? So that's basically it. Then we've got the lid itself. Pretty good lid. It does a couple things. It has about three different components to it. It has a strainer built in, and it has a pour spout. And then it looks like uh, how the jet boils do. It has something for a French press. I didn't see anything on their website for a French press, but maybe those are some uh, accessories coming in the future. And then it's got this nice uh, pull thing here. So you can pull it off and then if we look at the unit itself inside of here we do have measuring where you can actually measure it down it runs at about 16 ounces is what they say is safe it'll actually hold 30 but when you're boiling it's going to come up they say 16 ounces if we look at the unit itself it is 7.48 inches tall it is across the wide here it is 4.14 inches weighs about 1.53 pounds so nothing really heavy it only uses this particular one only uses 120 i don't know if they have other ones in the 220 market in europe but this is 120 and it will draw off your power station 500 watts so whatever unit you have and we're using the blue 80 uh, ac 180 which has an 1800 watt inverter we will be fine but you need to make sure that it has a uh, sufficient power capacity to drive these. How much is this little guy? Well, right now it is $75.99 on uh, Amazon. And if you click the link in the description below, there's an additional 20% when you click that and go to checkout. It expires on 127 2024 at the end of the day. All right, so what I wanted to do with this is do a couple things. One is I wanted to test it out. How long does it take to boil water? They say that this can boil water in five minutes. I know on the jet boils, and by the way, on the jet boils, we're powering this with high-end propane and really pushing a lot of stuff. I think we're doing three and a half minutes, but if I just pull over on the side of the road, want to make some quick lunch, how long does it take me to boil water? And then uh, we'll put some soup inside of here as well. See how long that boils. It's a little thicker, so you take it a little bit longer. Now run some tests and just see what that looks like. Oh, one last thing I did want to say. This is the packaging it comes in. It's pretty swanky, actually. It's almost kind of like Apple packaging. It's very, very nice. It has a good display. It fits right in here. No issues when it came in and shipping. All right, so we're gonna open up our little side door here and we're just gonna plug this guy in. Now this has three settings on it. We've got a power, we've got a drink setting, which basically heats up to a boil and then turns off. We've got an eat, which heats up to a boil and then kind of goes to a simmer. And then we've got a pop mode, which is kind of a shimmer mode uh, for popping popcorn. We'll test the eat, uh, the drink and the eat modes today. Go ahead and turn on our Blue Eddy. We are maxed out here, should be about 100%. Let's go ahead and turn on our AC, get our timer ready, do these together, turn him on, start him. All right, we are off and going, and this things are going to a boil. As this thing's starting, uh, it's process. we're about 20 seconds in. One thing I did want you to notice is that we are pulling roughly, just like they said, between 496 
all the way up to 500 watts. We haven't crossed 500, but just do make sure that your power station can handle that type of output. All right, if we look close, you can start to see there's getting to be some, some steam coming out of there. And if we open up and take a look inside, you can start to see some, some boiling a little bit. It's not boiling, but there is starting to see some bubbles come up. And we are at 316. You can really hear this thing boiling. Kind of makes a noise, so there is some activity. It's getting a little closer. We've got a lot more steam coming out, a lot more bubbles. Not quite there yet, though. Okay, we are at 636. We are still pulling about 500 watts off of this, and now we are at a full boil. So it wasn't quite the five minutes that they talk about, but it was a little over six minutes, six minutes and 36 seconds. I think that's plenty sufficient. This is absolutely awesome. So what would I do with this when I'm done? Um, so then I have egg, you know, I can make coffee. I could, uh, if it's lunchtime, I could make this or some kind of ramen noodles, which we're totally gonna make this in a second. And then if I wanted to, which is what we're gonna do next, is that is just water. And you notice this actually shut itself off automatically. So that's the drink mode. What we're gonna do next is dump this water out. Oh, and one other thing I wanted to note. You can pick this up, even though this was boiling and it's steaming out with this neoprene, I would recommend using the handle, but yeah, I could walk around with this, move it from the tailgate to somewhere else, and I don't even hardly feel it's warm, but it's nothing major. So I, I'm loving this neoprene, and it does have a kind of a hook here if you did want to hook it up to something or hang it from something, or you know, you also could attach this to that. But um, so that is the boil water again, six minutes and 36 seconds. So I tell you what, let's crack open this soup and let's get this in here and uh, get the next test going. Okay, we're getting ready to do a Progresso chicken noodle soup. I heat it up. One note, we're down to 93%. So our last test of boiling water did take 7% out of our 1152 watt hour battery. No big deal because I've got this charging when I'm driving around. But uh, let's kick this off again. Do our same test as last time. Let's get this ready to go. And we will. We got this, by the way, also we went from drink to eat mode. Let's kick that on, start that on, and let's get the soup cooking. Okay, we are at 420. We're starting to get some steam coming out of the top of this. If we open it up and just take a peek inside, now we're getting some some bubbles coming up, getting a lot of steam. Uh, this isn't as thick as like a clam chowder, but it is, you know, still chicken noodle. Okay, we are at six minutes and 36 seconds, just like before. And something interesting has happened on where we have it on the eat mode is it has, it is in a boiling mode, but it has went into a simmering. So where we were at 500 watts before, it's pulling, you know, two to 300 and kind of bouncing a little bit, kind of jumping up and down as it's simmering. And wow, that looks really good. Well, I gotta tell you, I'm very excited about this. Uh, you know, when this was sent to me, I wasn't quite sure, you know, what to do with this, how this was gonna go in my kit. Is this supposed to replace what I had before? And in this particular case, it's gonna complement what I had before. This is perfect for when I am driving around or if I just need an extra thing off to the side, if I've got the family out with me, uh, all of my other cooking equipment is, this is gonna just complement that great. I'm getting very excited about when I'm out on the landing and we're out for, you know, to eight, 10 hours driving around and stop for lunch. I can very easily heat this up. My Blue 80 power station will, will just drive it Pretty good. So hey, if you like this, there's a link down in the description. It's $75.99. And until the end of the day on July 27th, 2024, there's also an additional 20% code built into that link from Stokeville Takes uh, that they wanted me to give out to everybody. In a nutshell, that is the Jewel Electric Kettle by Stokeville Takes. Hey, if you got a lot of value out of this, please click that like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click that bell to be notified when we got new content out. Thanks for everybody's time. Have a great day.